first one, the Molly Murphy series, picked itself for me because I knew I wanted to write a feisty first person female um, who didn't always know when to back off. And I didn't know when to set her until I went to Ellis Island. And I went to Ellis Island and I was unprepared for how emotionally overcome I was there. And I knew I just had to write about Ellis Island, so Molly became an immigrant who had fled to Ellis Island. With the Royal Spinus series, I wanted to write a completely unlikely sleuth. And I thought, well, how about if she was royal, but she was penniless? And, um, and so uh, it had to be late enough that she could be allowed out without a chaperone, etc. And the, the 30s really appealed to me because they're such an interesting period. Because you're, it's, you're sandwiched between two world wars that completely destroyed everything. And yet some of life is still going on. You look at Downton Abbey, they still have their servants. They still... P.G. Woodhouse, Bertie Wooster still has his weekends in the country. So it's an interesting contrast of the Great Depression and yet people who are playing as if there's no tomorrow. Um, how much research do you do and what kind of research? I do quite a lot for both of them because historical, they, they're 20th century. There was a newspaper for every day that I write about. They have to be right. So for the Molly Murphy ones, I go to New York, I walk around Molly's streets, I see how long it takes to get from one to the other. I have a huge collection of photographs, because this was the age of the brownie camera, and so I can virtually find a photo of any street in New York I want to at Molly's time. And I go to the Historical Society, I read lots of background for the one that was set in the garment industry, I read the Senate depositions after the Triangle Fire, so everything has to be right. And then the others, the 1930s in London one, I. I know a lot of that. I'm married into that sort of family. I know how they sound and what they do and everything. And, um, you know, a, a lot of that is familiar. To, when I was a child, people spoke like that. The older women had those, um, they had those accents and used those things. So a lot of it I know. But the danger is I have to make sure that I double check because sometimes I think I know and I don't. I actually set Claridge's on the wrong street in London once, which was unforgivable, but you know, so, so I have to double check sometimes, but I do, I try to have historical background. The books are light and funny, but underneath them there's this underpinning that we know Hitler's just come to power in Germany and we know what will happen.